A rally Sunday morning in Tel Aviv gave a platform to the families of those killed and kidnapped on the 7th of October. This man's daughter was among those Israelis killed at a music festival. There are 136 hostages and captives. We are waiting for them all. Every second that passes, they were kidnapped because the state failed, because we failed, and now we, the state, must do everything to release them. Although some Israelis say their government is not doing enough, the death toll from bombings in the Gaza Strip has climbed above 23,000. And the 100-day weekend has brought out protesters across the globe clamouring for peace. On Saturday, thousands took to the streets in London, their placards calling to stop the massacre. We're hoping that, you know, by marching, we'll have our leaders taking the initiative and preventing the genocide that is taking place today. Not war, genocide, fighting, killing, it's not the answer. We've got to protest and I want to make sure that people in Gaza do get to hear that the world is listening. Thousands also took to the streets in Karachi, Pakistan in support of a ceasefire on Sunday, with Rome and Paris also set to hold pro-Palestinian protests. Further events are also planned in honour of the hostages in London and Paris.